welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick unboxing of a couple of orchids that I got. Um, it's technically not an unboxing because I got it in an order with my mom and she gave them to me. So I'm just going to show you um, four orchids that I have that are new to my collection. I have not purchased any orchids in the past um, couple of months. Maybe it's been like, it's been almost a year I want to say. I don't have anything uh, new that I've purchased just because my collection is quite large. It's been a little bit um, overwhelming to water everything, take care of everything, and I feel like I'm at my limit. But there were a couple that I wanted. There's a couple that I've also given away. So anytime I get something new, I'm trying to get something out. And also, um, I have Hoyas in my collection now, and those tend to grow very big very quickly. So my Hoyas, which I can do an update on if you guys want to see, um, those have been growing like crazy. They've been vining. They're on trellises. So those have been taking up a lot of space. So I haven't been buying too much. I got four new ones. So I'm going to show you what they are. Um, they came from the SVO catalog. Um, the new release for the year. I'll be repotting them soon in the next couple of weeks. Some of them need to have a new growth and some of them are ready to go, but I'll show you what they are and why I bought them. And I'll show you the pictures of the different parents if I can find them. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know down in the comments if you guys got any orchids from SVO, um, what kind of um, cat leos you were looking for, um, and we'll jump right in. I have four new additions here. Three of them are from Sunset Valley Orchids and one of them is from High Desert Orchids. So I'm going to show you each one individually. The first orchid I got from Sunset Valley Orchids is this LC Aussie Sunset cross with the LC Tropical Aurora. And this one is a small size, but it has a sheath already. So hopefully we will see some buds soon. If not, maybe the next growth will give me some blooms. Um, I don't, it's not super tight in here, but I'm gonna repot it once temperatures get a little warmer because the Sunset Valley Orchids um, seedlings usually have a sphagnum moss plug. So there's a lot of moss in there holding a lot of moisture. So I wanna get it into something a little bit airier soon. But this one I bought because it has, it's like yellow and orange and has a lot of flaring. And I kind of I kind of like the flares. So I look forward to seeing what this looks like when it blooms. But the parents were orange and yellow with, I think one of them had yellow on the inside, orange on the outside, and it was just beautiful. So I look forward to growing this one. You guys are not going to be surprised by this next one. I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty predictable. This one is the uh, Lelia. Um, and Jerry I cross with the Lelia Flava 24 karat gold that cross has not been named yet cross with the Brasso Lelia Richard Mueller you guys know I love Richard Mueller hybrids I believe those Lelias are Rapiculus Lelias that are quite small um, so this is going to be a compact orchid and it should give me nice blooms it should be quite vigorous it has a lot of growths here I expect it to bloom pretty young. I expect it to be very vigorous because of the Richard Mueller parent. And then the Lelias are quite small themselves. So I don't think this is going to get huge on me. I'm going to be repotting it along with the other one in the spring. And we'll see what they look like. But you guys know I'm a sucker for these Richard Mueller hybrids. They're small, they grow fast, and they're generally fragrant. So... I'm always happy to see if I find one, a different cross, I usually pick it up. So we'll see what this looks like when it blooms. I am excited for this next one because I have one with a similar parent and it's bloomed for me and it smells like honeysuckle. This one I believe needs to be repotted soon because the pot is kind of giving out. As you can see, it's like kind of bowing. So there's lots of roots in this pot, but I will get this done soon. Um, and this orchid is the, I can't even take it out, SLC Jungle Elf cross with the Epicatlia Kayaguchi. Um, and um, I do have this um, Epicatlia Kayaguchi crossed with another yellow orchid, and it was beautiful. It's still very small, 
and it has clusters of beautiful fragrant yellow flowers. This one, I was excited about it because it has the vigor of that Kayaguchi, which has long sprays of flowers. However, it's crossed with a spotted uh, parent, which is the SLC Jungle Elf. Um, we'll see how it goes with the Kayaguchi. So this is the second one I have with that's crossed by it. And I like these smaller types. Um, I'll show you a picture of what that other one looked like along with the name. The name went, was a Bulera. Um, let me actually show you. So here it is. This one is the original um, parent that I had with the Epicatlia Kayaguchi. This one, when I transitioned it to semi-hydro, it dried out some of the old bulbs, but it pushed out a new bulb, pushed out new roots. They're okay. But I wanted to show you this one because it's acting a little weird. It had a sheath and it started pushing a new growth out. Now this is getting lots of light, so I don't know if this is a result of too much artificial light, but it is pushing a new leaf from the sheath and we have a sheath inside of the growth. Let me know if you've ever seen this before. It's super weird, super wonky. I don't know if it's because of the hybrid, just not knowing what to do, but this one's very interesting. I'll show you the blooms from last year, but I love this one. Hopefully it's okay because this is really weird, huh? Like this is where the sheath was and we have another growth coming in with a sheath. So that's really, really, really weird. I kind of reminds me of a cakey, but it's not. So hopefully this isn't a sign that this is going to die on me. If it is, so be it. But hopefully we get growths from the bottom. But yeah, I just wanted to show you when I transitioned it to, um, to semi-hydro, the old canes did not love it. And it also didn't have that many roots to begin with, so I probably should have kept it in organic. But I just wanted to show you this one. This last one, I don't know a ton about it, but my mom gave it to me. And um, this one is the SLC Seagulls Apricot crossed with the Sophronites Cernua. So this one should be quite small. Um, I don't expect it to be a large one. The Sophronites is a smaller um, orchid. I will put the pictures up on of this one and I'll let you know how it goes. I'm gonna repot it when in the spring when it has a, a new growth, hopefully, to not disturb it too much. But I'm gonna keep the humidity high since this is a smaller orchid and I believe Sophronites are a little bit trickier to care for. I'm gonna look up the care. I don't have any with that parent that are alive <laughs> so I'll do right by this one I hope you guys enjoyed this video I probably won't be buying anything for a while I owe you a grow space update a lot of folks have been asking me to show um, what my grow space looks like right now it, I, it looks the same to be honest um, but I haven't done an update because the lights and my camera make like a weird effect so I need to figure that out before I record it or maybe I'll do it at night with some other lights but I will get that to you guys soon. Um, I need to start repotting my collection very soon as well. So you guys will start seeing repot videos. I know I keep saying that, but now that we're headed into March, temperatures are going to change. I'm going to add an hour of light to my orchid soon. So it'll be time to start to get those going. It's a lot of work. Um, I repotted 100 last year within a month. So that was, that was a lot. And yeah, I love my orcas, but man, they are so much work and I have, I probably have too many hobbies right now. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.